Uh, let's start with Sean Cunningham. Hey, what's up, Dante? Um, when you think of just uh, now that it's kind of come to an end here, and what what did you just make of your uh, Kings experience so far as you kind of head into an off season that might have some question marks to it? Um, yeah, um, I think every time after games, you know, everything I've been saying is all about growth. So for me, going into off season, um, keeping that growth. That's what I learned here in two months is. No matter win or loss, just come in the next day and grow and get better every day. And, you know, trying to build habits to, you know, go into the future and build something together. So um, I think if I had to name one word that summed up the two months was growth for me. James. Yeah, Dante, you played for a winner in college. I'm sure you played for a winner in high school. You played for a winner with the Bucks. Uh, just how difficult was that transition coming to Sacramento where the last half of the season really wasn't so much about wins and losses as much. It was about things like growth. Um, you know, what's funny is we have winning people here. Um, take the, you know, the, the actual wins and losses out of the question. Like we have people that want to win at everything, card games, you know, um, everything, everything you can think of. We have people that want to win. So there was no, there was no like coming here. was like a, a shock to me. Um, coming here was, you know, it's it goes back to that growth thing is um, we're just not where we need to be right now. And that's part of where we're going to get to. Um, but we have people that want to win. We don't have people that just want to go out there and, you know, um, just cash a check. We have guys that want to win and play hard. And when you have guys that are competitive and want to win, you can build off of that. And that's that's what I'm focused on. Jason. Dante, I think a lot of people will be happy to hear you talking about a future in Sacramento. Um, is there, though, is there any question in your mind about the fit or the situation uh, for you personally as you, you you know, have to make some decisions and see what happens this summer? I mean, when I got here, um, I said in my very first uh, sit down with all you guys was um, they showed value in me for trading for me twice. I mean, that's kind of it's not really heard of. So. Um, just coming here, you know, my mindset, my mind frame going in every day was to get better and just have a positive attitude. Um, <clears throat> and that's going to be my focus going forward. Uh, my focus is to focus on how how can Dante get better to help this team um, take it to the next level? Because, you know, there's a lot of things that I need to get better on um, individually. And then there's a lot of things that we need to get better on collectively. So for me is how do I take this off season to get myself better um, and able to give everything I got to this team to take it. Cause I said in the last game is, um, you know, the fans are absolutely amazing in Sacramento and, you know, we weren't given the, we weren't getting the wins that we, that those fans deserve. Um, so we can take that. And, you know, for me, that's motivation is how can I get better to give those fans something to cheer for and uh, try to make the playoffs next year. Tony, go ahead. Damn, hey, Dante. Uh, um, yeah, I'm here. <laughs> Say, um, you came in here on the interim basis, just like uh, Alvin Gentry. And, uh, you know, we hadn't seen him uh, coach before you. And, you know, he's not arrogant. He's never been aggressive. Pretty open-minded guy. I know it's a tough situation to uh, try to juggle six people and tr try to transition them into a different system. Just want to get your thoughts on working with him for the past. Alvin Gentry for the past couple months, Dante. You know, um, when I got traded here, I talked with Drew Holiday about Alvin. Um, and everything that Drew told me was exactly on point. He is one of the best people that I've met. Um, you know, he is somebody who just, like you said, is open-minded and sits down to you, talks to you, hears you out, understands what you're saying, and he values your opinion. Um, and at the same time, he trusts you. Um, he trusts decisions that um, on the court that, you know, um, I may, may not turn out for the betterment of the team in that situation, that play, but he rides with you. He trusts you. And um, you have to give credit to him because, like you said, juggling six new people, juggling, you know, that inner room stepping up. Um, it's been a hell of a year for him. And no matter what, this whole year, um, we didn't get the wins. He's the person that I met two months ago is exactly the same person that um, I can talk about right now. And, you know, I take that relationship and I'll continue that relationship with him. Sean Cunningham. Dante, I was curious. I mean, I wonder if, you know, restricted free agency can sometimes have a 
ugly thing kind of attached to it. It can be a, an experience for a lot of guys. I'm just wondering if you've ever, if you've counseled anyone before and just where do you have to kind of get yourself in the right state of mind before you approach something like that? I could be honest. I don't even know when free agency is um, like my mindset is so I'm so focused on trying to get better that everything that's going to take care of itself. Um, you know, everything's going to, you know, chips are going to lay where they lay and, and you know, I'm going to be playing basketball next year. Um, and for me is how can I be the best Dante? Um, how can I be the best teammate? And, you know, how can I be the best person um, for me? That's what my focus is going in this off season. Um, you know, guys go through it every year. I don't need, I don't, find the need to kind of seek somebody's advice for something like that. Um, because every day is a blessing. I get to play basketball for a living. Um, and for me, it's every single day I get better and everything else will take care of itself. Last question, Christos. Hey, Dante, hope you're doing well. Did you, did you feel in uh, Sacramento that you have that you've have had more on the floor responsibilities than Milwaukee this season? And how, how this uh, process helped you to grow as a player overall? Yeah, I mean, it, it always helps you grow when you know you're stepping out there and um, you're kind of expected to do a little bit more. And when you go back to my time in Milwaukee, you have um, the MVP, you got, you know, um, two other All-Stars you're playing with on the court, and you kind of fall into this role of just getting everything done and trying to help complement them. Um, and still coming here, that was still my focus and kind of still will be my focus is I'm that guy that can complement anybody that's on the floor, and that's kind of – what I, you know, pride myself on. And then going through every single game, just learning experiences. Um, I go back and watch film of what I can get better at, you know, turning the ball over. How can I not turn the ball over? How can I take good shots? How can I read when to put different players on the, on the court with me in better situations where they're not um, trying to make a play with three people on them? Um, and how to just get everybody around me better while still making myself better. Um, and that's that's what I pride myself on. Go back to the room. No, you got the last one there. Oh, okay. Brandon, did you have a question still? Yeah. Uh, okay. Dante, you know, headed into restricted free agency. I just wonder, once that kind of all settles itself eventually, how relieving will that be for you? <laughs> um. I mean, it will be big time. You don't have to, you don't have to answer questions about free agency. You just, you know, you get to just hoop. Um, I think for me, it's I always go back to just my focus on trying to be the best teammate and the hardest playing player. Um, as long as I do that, I'm good. And you know, when those guys in the locker room respect me, everything will take care of itself.